Kathleen, yeah, you know, it's not the ending I think a lot of Aztec fans were hoping for. But that being said, listen, this was a field of 68 teams, 64 once the playing games were done, and San Diego State to get second place overall coming within five points of a real powerhouse team that has blown out almost every opponent. Uh, a lot to be proud of, to say the least. We caught up with Brian Dutcher shortly after the loss. To unite the city of San Diego like you guys have, to make them believe the last couple of weeks, just what has that meant to you as a, as a head coach and the head of this program? Come on, the city embraces us. This, San Diego is America's finest city. The people there, uh, uh, they support us. And not just when we win, they support us all the time because they know we're about the right things. We're about good people that are good students that play really good basketball and you can feel good about that as a fan and as a citizen of San Diego. Have you talked to Coach Fisher at all and has he given you any words of wisdom or anything? No, just congratulated me on a really good year and you know how proud he is of this group and of the job our coaches did and that's all am I. You know obviously you know, only one team gets to win it all, and there were 68 that started this journey, and we came up a game short. So proud of the effort, proud of the kids, uh, and have a taste of it. We want to come back. So UConn's the national champion. That being said, San Diego State has a lot to hang their head proud about. I talked to Keisha Johnson uh, shortly after this game hit a final. He said, listen, I'm still a winner. Despite whatever the score says, I am a winner. Everything I've experienced over the last couple of weeks makes me a winner, makes my teammates winners. And that is really the mindset uh, a lot of these guys echoed in the post game. I know that uh, they wanted to win it all. They said that they wish they could bring home the hardware to San Diego. That being said, uh, you know, I showed them a few pictures of what Viejas Arena looked like today, and they couldn't be more excited to get back home and to uh, just get some fans there and get back in San Diego, Kathleen. Julian, do you have any idea on the timeline of when the return? Have they released those details yet? So not sure if they publicly released it, but a source very close to the Aztecs was telling me that they will leave tomorrow and land in San Diego and be on campus around 3 to 3.30. So, you know, San Diego, if you are listening right now, and you have the time, head out to Viejas, head out to campus, cheer these guys on because they gave their best effort. And listen, this was a team that I think a lot of people didn't even pick to make it this far. They beat a one seed. They cut down nets multiple times this year, three times to be exact, multiple trust falls as well for Brian Dutcher. And, you know, it really kind of echoes back to uh, the Ted Lasso believe. For just a couple of weeks of March, they took us out of our own elements and glued us to the television screen and made all of us back in San Diego believe for just one moment. And, you know, for me personally, seeing that Lamont Butler buzzer beater just a couple of days ago, the travel that this has all taken, uh, it's certainly something that uh, I think I'll never forget. I think a lot of San Diegans will echo the same thing. And as Coach Dutcher said, they want to go back. So this is just the beginning, not the end for the program. Thank you so much, our Julian Delgadio. And from